This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Captain, Constellation will be waiting for you at the Lodge. Another day, another credit. Well, that depends. Are you a foodie or a shopper? If that's the case, you have a lot of options here in New Atlantis. Don's Roost is probably the fanciest. They have great steaks there. But I'll be honest, I'm more of a chunks girl. And my boyfriend and I can't get enough of Terra Brew. Take care. may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity. It always has been. Here we are, the Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us in... Just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh. Ridiculous. Oh, you really think what I we appear to have a visitor? Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. 
Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Godfrey, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Have you talked so, to Vladimir recently? Are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Why? Oh, I just don't know how he does it. Up there all alone for so I understand. You've been through a lot. Just let me know when. I am at your service, Captain. Makes it back to us. 
I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone just sort of accepts him. Whenever you're up for it, we have work to do. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually, but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most... An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. You mean, besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen. Whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? I hope, you're I still hope you are satisfied with the quarters of... We need to talk to John Tuala in math. Bye.
Sarah. Good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Ah, uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Perhaps we should check in with Matteo or Noel. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Uh, no, I don't need anything. Just Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, well, then, obviously. The good Walter's quite yes, proud Walter's of the collection, proud. but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. I Gardens like are out the doors the there. For this. If you need a moment Constellation, of quiet, the artifacts. Emphasis on the quiet. Sound crazy, At least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here.
stolen many sacred relics recently? Very funny, Walter. You know constellations can keep me busy. I know you too well to know that. You have got to be so if you must know. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. Let me know how You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Satisfied with the quarters available to you. Don't rush the scan. You want to overlook anything valuable.
I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick of that. Ah, oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder what the artist. trying to represent. Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact them if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. on Vectera, right? Uh, you flew in on the, uh, frontier. Tommy Bitlow, SSNN research intern. Word is the frontier was involved in an attack? It's true, right? You saw some real action? Oh, I I'm so sorry, but I you're the first source I've ever met. Oh, this is great, great. Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you. An actual eyewitness! Uh, there's credits in it, for credible newsworthy information. And easy money, too. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it! junk you're hauling is seriously slowing you down.
Mr. Can't go in. You just can't. But David's my friend. He writes me. Do you have a story for me? I, I bet. Whoever came Welcome up with Welcome to SSNN, news where fast. the news never sleeps. Wasn't taking into If you're part of the David Baron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. Listen, I might be able to hook you up with something. <sighs> Sorry. Long day. Longer night. <clears throat> How about a do-over? Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. Tommy? Tommy did something useful? So you must be the captain of the... Frontier? Rumor is there was a firefight at a mining installation. I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and are done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. So, what do you got for me? Looks like some Crimson Fleet Brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual MO. Tell them about the ore. That was quite a lucrative operation. Bad blood between the fabled constellation and the Crimson Fleet? Has all the markings of what we in the SSNN call a story. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? An actual member of Constellation graces my office. Do we bow? Maybe smoke a pipe? So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? like a good outfit. The heroic miner is a good angle. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. And take this to cover any incidentals, or other creative ways to pad out an expense report.
David Barry is the most famous journalist. Scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Is there a problem? Where to next?
damage from the harsh Martian landscape. being cramped down here, choking in the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. It's depressing. Still pulling up huge mineral deposits after... It's not too late to catch a ride back home. Sometimes I wish I'd taken an easier job. Ah, there's nothing like fresh air filters, am I right? Been serving drinks here for over 40 years. Few places can offer that kind of stability. Point not to sell crap. We got beer, wine, and spirits. We don't do too many fancy mixed drinks, at least not the kind you get in Neon or New Atlantis. It's my belief that the only booze worth drinking doesn't need to be mixed with something else to taste good. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything right you don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. You don't guess. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking in my bar. You ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out blackest sea. Oh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four, it was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look. Nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me?
Don't try to guilt trip me, okay? <sighs> You're right. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Excuse me. I haven't had a day off. Headed next.
Manon Verun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. Are crawling with spacers and other scavengers.
star yard, still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. said hello.
Vanguard Moera, 